Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My HDK SLR is almost complete at MSO. They've been sending me progress pictures, looks amazing. I shared some of that on my stories. And to warm up, I wanna take out my SLR Roadster White. Now my coupe is gonna be the same color, much bigger arrow of course, a little bit lower. Wow, these two duet, it's gonna look amazing in here. Anyhow, let's go for a joyride. Also, I got a big announcement. I'm finally going to Goodwood, not just a regular Goodwood visit. I'm gonna be driving the AMG One at Goodwood. Never been there, seen a lot of videos, so I'm super stoked. It's gonna be a three day event. So a lot of footage and a lot of GoPro batteries I gotta take with me. I guess a garage door opener would be nice. Yeah. With just two turns. I'm becoming a pro SLR driver. All right, let's go warm up some tires. We got quarter gas, gas tank, quarter tank of a gas. Yeah. I can never say this. <laughs> so SLRs come with two options when it comes to red interior. One's kind of like a cherry red, and then this is a 300 SL red interior, which is a $9,900 option. And I have, I think, five of these SLRs with this red interior it really pops in the sun it's gorgeous yeah so what i love about the slr and what i don't like about the slr well let's just start off with what i love because obviously i love a lot about the slr that i got eight of them is it eight or seven or nine uh, keep lose track yeah. <laughs> so what i love about the slr is the sound of the exhaust it's like a roaring lion and I like the long hood. Believe it or not, it is awkward weight distribution, especially when you're turning. The engine says right about under your knees and it's got a very short trunk, but a very long hood. And when you drive it, it feels like you're driving a classic car because it just, they just don't make them like this anymore. So it's an awkward driving experience, but woo, with the open top, man, Woo! Feels great. You feel like you're going twice as fast. Now the HDK is going to be lower suspension, a lot more uh, aero, so downforce is a lot higher than this car. And obviously much louder because we modified the exhaust and I can't wait to hear how that monster is going to sound like because this sounds great and this is a stock exhaust and that one is going to have pretty much a straight pipes. And what I don't like about the SLR, it's the five speed transmission. but. I guess that's what makes it unique. But you know what, for back in 2003, 2003 is when they actually announced it, 2005 is when they came to US. Um, it's still a pretty bitchin' car. You know, a lot of Formula One technology in it, entire body is carbon fiber. What gets me every single time, there is a cassette player. <laughs> now, no cars in 2005, I don't think they were made with a cassette player, but I think uh, Mercedes was uh, sleeping behind the wheel on that one. To be fair, they did put a CD player in the trunk. So it's got CD player, radio, tape, but that just gets me every single time. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about, right? Woo! You gotta hold on to your hat. This car holds. Woo! Uh, Aha! Uh -huh. Sound like Eddie Murphy there. Aha! <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> the interior is custom. I went with uh, checker cloth, red and white, and the rest of it is all black Alcantara. So, pretty sporty. Is this gonna have a roll cage built in or no? No. Gotcha. I ain't gonna go that far. Come on, guys. <laughs> And those ceramic bricks work like a charm, as long as they're warm. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> now you see why this car is so underrated. Yeah. It's such a fun car to drive. Please don't buy anymore. I'm still trying to, you know, add three more to my uh, fleet and the prices keep going up. You know Stop. What, <laughs> you know what someone commented? People say, uh -huh. man, you trying to have an SLR drive? Uh -huh. So you can ask buyers how much their car, they want for their car. <laughs> so I can buy some more. Yeah, exactly. Tell me that's not fun. Woo. 
You know, I have to be honest with you guys, I do like the coupe in some ways better when I drive it. It just feels more sporty, but with the open top on a nice sunny day, you get that wind blowing your face. It does feel like you're going a lot faster and I can smoke a cigar. Own so many of them? No. I mean, to be honest with you, it wasn't love at first sight. SLR kind of grew on me, and um, as I bought my first one, second one, and then I realized, wow, it's such a hell of a car and piece of history in automotive between the collaboration of top two brands, and they're still selling below a sticker. So I was baffled. So, I, you know, call it greed, a good business move, I don't know. <laughs> I started buying more. I don't think I would pay over a sticker for one, so don't try to pull a quickie on me. I have probably 11 SLRs. I've sold my 722, which I regret. I had a black uh, with red interior coupe I sold to a friend of mine. He kept begging, begging me, begging me every time I went to lunch, so I finally uh, sold it to him. Um, I sold a silver red interior. What else did I sell? I think that's it. So if I had held those, I would have 11 of them right now. Man, that torque. And do you see a, a Moss in your future? Absolutely. If they sell a body kit. <laughs> <laughs> so there was two SLR Moss white in 2009. I got a call. They said there's a guy in LA, he's got two of them. One with 100 miles, one with 200 miles. And... Um, he wants to sell both. I said, well, I'll buy one. And you won't believe the price. It was a million a pop, so two million bucks for two SLR Moss with low miles, both white with red interior. And every time I drive a SLR, I tell myself what an idiotic move to say no. <laughs> Those cars are worth three and a half each now. So if I ever get a call like that, I'll be running over there. Woo! What? That's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and make sure you look out for my video from Goodwood driving the AMG One. Do you want to attend the most value-packed real estate event of 2023? If so, I have another edition of my exclusive Contrarian Summit coming up soon in Orange County, California. It will feature my 2023 investing and strategies presentation, industry-leading guest speakers, high-level networking opportunities, also a tour of my new headquarters and car collection, plus some special bonuses. If you're interested in attending, spots are filling up fast. Click the link below to apply and learn more.